Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how I turn a dull mould, and this is a cake mould, but it's a silicon mould, so it casts resin really well, into something that is shiny at the end. Because you can't make a dull mould shiny. And look how dull that mould is inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast two of these, one with just a colour in it, and I'm going to use a gold colour. And this one I'm going to use clear, but I have painted in the eyes and the lips using a bit of mica powder. And if you want to know how I do that with mica powder, then check out the video that I'll link at the end. And I'm going to be pouring a bit of resin in here. And I'm not going to pour the full depth because I don't want it to be the full depth. I'm then going to take one of my little micro brushes. And these are a must have in your resin. And any little corners where there's likely to be a trap bubble, I'm going to remove the trap bubble. And the reason I use these little micro brushes is because they don't leave any little filaments or hairs behind. And also they won't damage your mould because they are quite soft and gentle touch the bubbles, they will just come back up. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to pop in some gold mica powder and then just pour that straight into there. Now I have sprayed these moulds previously with a mould release as I do all my moulds because I always spray them with mould release before I store them. Now, because you can't see in this one to see where the bubbles are, then what I will do is I will go around the edge with my little stick and then just go in with it. Not too hard. I won't prod right the way through it and move it around and try and dislodge any trap bubbles that may be there. And when the bubbles come up, don't go over it with a torch because a torch will damage your silicon moulds. They are heatproof silicon moulds, but not to the type of heats that will come out of a torch. You don't want your resin sticking to your silicon mould and then damaging your mould when you take out the resin when it's cured. And then all I use is a long neck lighter and I just go over it and quickly pop any bubbles. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your arm. And what I'll do is I'll put these to one side. Once they're cured, then I'll show you how I can get a shiny finish on them from a dull mould, which is really easy. And the reason I've used this one is it's not just a flat shape. Because it's a face inside, it is more difficult to do, but it's not difficult using the technique that I'll show. These are all cured now. So let's take them out of the mould. And as you can see, they are actually very dull. They're not shiny at all. And what I want to do is I want to get them as easy as possible, as shiny as this one. And you can really see the difference. And the technique that I use is so easy. There's no faffing or fuffing about. It actually is just so simple. Now, I wasn't as careful as I thought with the bubbles on this one. I got it out of all the edges and didn't think to get it off the actual bottom itself. But I really like the way it's come out. I've got my resin mixed up now to give these a final coat. And this is how easy it is. All I do is I dip my gloved finger into the resin. Put a very thin coat on. All the way round to where I want it to be shiny. Making sure I get into all the little crevices. No brushes, nothing, because I don't want to waste brushes. Uh, I don't want to be wasting uh, little sponge things or anything like that. Not too much, because you don't want it to be running. You just want it to be sticking on there. There's one. Same thing for this one. I just think this is the, such the easiest way to give a shiny coat on something that has a dull mould. That isn't a normal shape. That you can't just easily dome. Because if I domed this, I would lose all the little details in it. It would, it would still look lovely. And it would be great for a different project. But not for 
possibly what I was looking for with this. I will just pop those to one side. They will clear up in the normal time and then they'll be shiny. I'll show you when they're finished. So these are finished now. And as you can see, they've come out really, really shiny, which is great. And there's the other one that I made. And I did make a couple more as I had a bit of resin left over, <laughs> as I always do. And I will make those ones as shiny as these. And it really does make a difference. It's such an easy way to make something shiny that isn't just a normal flat surface that you can't easily dome. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Check out the join button. My members area has grown lovely now. It's a great little community there and you get lots of different perks and additional things by becoming a member. And if you want to say thank you and help me buy my pressure pot, then check out the buy me a coffee link. Anybody that contributes between December and the point where I buy the pressure pot, their names will be put on the pressure pot as a thank you. Enjoy your resin. Take care of yourself. Bye.